Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is what I call super duper cabbage. A lot of people love cabbage, and you know, some people make them just with meat and just plain. But I have done some Cajun cabbage for you, but this is a super duper cabbage. This cabbage consists of ground meat, red bell pepper, onion, celery, and garlic, parsley flakes, black pepper, and salt. So what I'm doing right now is that let you put what ingredients that you want in your cabbage because this is what I put in my cabbage. I like to put a little pepperoncino in mine too, you know, hey, because I love that, that spicy taste. So what I'm going to do now is put a teaspoon full of tomato paste. We're going to stir this all the way around into the oil. Now add extra oil because cabbage has a tendency to be kind of need some oil in it you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm spreading around the uh just a teaspoon of tomato paste and then i'm going to add the cabbage just like this these cabbage are raw sort of shredded add the cabbage just like this so they can cook down now you can add your cabbage if you want them real fine you can do that if you want them real thick like mine you can do that you know just any way you want them I just do mine like that because when they cook down they have a tendency to have a little fullness on your fork okay when you do that then you add salt on top of your cabbage add salt just like that then you add some pepper black pepper any color pepper you want I put black pepper on mine just like that hope you're in the camera Okay, black pepper, just like that. And then I put parsley flakes, just a little parsley flakes on top. Or uh, maybe, you know, we'll do that last. But other than that, this is what I put on mine. Now I'm going to let these simmer. I'll put a little pepperoncino on mine, because I like pepperoncino on mine. So I'm going to put any black pepper on mine. I got some black pepper on, but I like pepperoncino also. So I got the pepperoncino. And then I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Like I said, I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Now you can add anything you want on your cabbage. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is just put the parsley flakes on there just like this. And then I'm going to put a top on top of this. And let it cook for maybe about 15 minutes or more. And then we'll come back and let you see what the end result is. This is Sandra. I'll be right back. We'll put a top on this. Like medium heat, not high, high heat, just medium heat, and let it cook by 15 minutes. That's what you call steam. We're gonna steam this cabbage on top of this ground meat and vegetables and stuff. We're gonna see what it look like. This is Sandra. Be right back. Oops. I still recording. All right, this is our finished product of our super cabbage. There's a ground meat. Look at the ground meat and cook down. The cabbage don't cook down. You can cook it as tender as you want. But this is how I cook mine. So you can have it like on a spoon like that. That's why I told you with a fork. Don't cover the fork. Well, this will cover the spoon. So you can cook it as much as you want. You can put any spice you want in this cabbage. But I just use black pepper and salt. Give you an example of what to do. Then you can put thyme they call it thyme but i call it thyme i like the thyme taste but anyway you put thyme in it you can put any season that you want in it you can put cajun season um you could put creole season any season that you like to put in it you put italian season in it whatever you like and this is a cabbage you can serve this with some cornbread Ooh, yeah some cornbread i got my cornbread right here y'all look Ooh, look at that i gave y'all recipes of cornbread look at that Ooh, i got some cornbread with this and man that is so delicious now this is sandra i want to let you know that you can fix anything you put your mind to it all you have to do is have someone to show you and you become a wonderful cook you'll be a better cook than me because i'll be showing you how to do these things we're from mississippi this is sandra i want to let you know that i want to come to your channel and i will be there love your channel just give me a chance when i gonna get there in a day or two i will soon be there and see your videos this is Sandra. I want to tell you happy evening and try this super duper up cabbage. Oh my goodness, the family will love it. So seasoned with different spices and everything. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy evening.
this is the finished result of the cabbage the ground meat and cabbage this is what this is and I want you to see how beautiful the ground meat cooked into the cabbage and how tender the cabbage are and look at that little piece of cornbread on the side back there Ooh, that looks so good this is uh, my season ground meat and cabbage beautiful combination when you don't have um, some meat that you want to cook your cabbage with and you want it real fast and quick Get some ground meat out, bell peppers and celery and onions and garlic and spices that you want to put with it. And then smother those cabbage on top. And you come out with a dish like this. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. And get this recipe off the of soulfoodqueen.net. And hey, you can have you a smothered beef and cabbage. Yes, you can. Look at that. I'm off off the camera. <laughs> this is Sandra. I want to say check. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. Thank you for coming to my channel.